All right, thanks, Glenn. Philadelphia's Please Touch Museum has all sorts of great things for the kids to do, but now they can also learn about money with the museum's new financial literacy program. And joining us to tell us more about that, the new program at the Please Touch Museum is Conchetta Bensavenga. She's the executive vice president. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. So this is really exciting. And tell me what would the idea behind having a financial literacy program at Please touch. Please touch. Yeah. It's super exciting for us. It's the first time we've ever done it in the history of the museum. And um, as your previous segment sort of highlighted, this is a time when families are talking about financial literacy. It's really important. And so we really thought that we could look for a partner to launch a program to get families talking about financial health, when to spend, when to share, when to save, things like that. So. And so you have lots of programs now. So And we have a couple of pictures because I know the program just started. So we have the Puppet Banker. What's the story behind the Puppet Banker? Well, we held a contest on Facebook and there was a a, a hot uh, naming competition and the name will be <laughs> revealed tomorrow afternoon at the museum. So we have a finalist, but we can't reveal the results just quite yet. And so. so does he put on a program that kids can watch or does he interact with the kids? Absolutely. He'll interact with the kids and answer some questions. We have a design a dime activity that you can do. We're also launching a new um, theater show called Pinch and Penny. And it all revolves around just talking about financial literacy and, and financial health for families. Yeah, and we have a picture of the Pinch and Penny. That's pretty cool. And then the, we have some, some kids that you've already done designing those dimes. Explain how that program works and how does it teach them, besides designing their dimes, which is fun and right. cool and creative, how does it teach them about money? So here's the deal. Kids can count, right? Anyone who's asked a little one how old they are, they are know how seriously they take, you know, one, two, two three. Right. It's very important. It's really a focal point of their universe. And so one of the questions that we get asked is, when is it okay to start talking about financial literacy? And the answer is, as soon as your child can tell the difference between a penny and a nickel, and a nickel and a dime and a dime and a quarter, it's time to start talking about it. So one of the activities we have going on in the museum's program room is design your own dime. And it's uh, to kind of get them in the concept of 10 pennies and how would you design it. And it's just a fun activity that's going on from now until the end of September. I love it. I hope that a lot of families take advantage of it so they can start talking to their kids very early about the concept of money, about saving money, all of that. Thanks that's so, what we're hoping. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you.